Greetings to you all. I, Sister Mari Masina Kutino, I belong to FSMA Institute. FSMA stands for Franciscans of St. Mary of the Angels. Our institute was founded at Angers, France on 2nd August 1871 by our foundress, Reverend Mother Mary Chrysostom of the Cross and founder, Reverend Father John Chrysostom, OFM. This year, we celebrate the sesquicentennial, that is, 150 years of our existence. Ours is an international congregation. Our sisters are working in different parts of the world, such as France, England, Ethiopia, Brazil, Tanzania, and India. The charism of our congregation is to be Franciscans, Adorers, Marians, and Missionaries. Franciscans, our congregation strives to follow Jesus Christ according to the example of St. Francis of Assisi. He is the patron of our institute. As Franciscans, we are called to give and to share, to receive and to learn from others, to live a life of poverty just as St. Francis. His teaching recalled to mind the beauty of our vocation as Franciscans of St. Mary of the Angels. Adorers, Christ in the Eucharist is the source and center of our contemplation and of our mission throughout the world. Called by this particular charism of our founders to be adorers, our first and principal aim is adoration of the Eucharistic Christ. This Eucharistic life urges us to obey the command of Jesus to go to all nations and by our lives and activity proclaim to all people, especially to the poorest, the joy of having a Savior. Marians, Mary, Mother of God, whom we proclaim Queen of the world, declares herself to be the handmaid of the Lord. Mary is the perfect adorer, perfect missionary, and perfect model and special patroness of our institute. The Virgin Mary, whose whole life was silent contemplation, an irrevocable gift of herself, is because of her unwavering faith. She is our guide along the way of sanctity and love. And that's how all the sisters adopt her name as a sign of following her life and living out her virtues. Missionaries Evangelization is the fundamental mission confided by God to His Church. To proclaim Christ to the world is our mission. As missionaries of our institute, we discover God's designs of love in the apostolate we are involved, may it be educational, medical or social. Our charism, in short, help us to be Christ-like. I conclude with the blessing of St. Francis of Assisi from the Bible, Book of Numbers. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May He make His face to shine on you and have mercy on you. May He turn His countenance upon you and give you His peace, love and joy. Thank you. God has a plan for everyone's life. In my life too, God unfolded his plan by choosing me from my mother's womb. I am the daughter of late Mr. Santan Kulasu and Mrs. Carlotta Kulasu from Otorda, Majorda, Salsit, Goa. We are four children. I am second in the family. I have one sister older to me and two younger brothers. I did my schooling from Our Lady of Lourdes High School, Utorda, and higher secondary from Father Basilius College, Majorda. From my childhood, I had a special love for God. I was very faithful to my prayers and recited the rosary daily with much devotion. Seeing this, my mother often asked me if I would become none. After my SEC, I just attended a vocation camp. I was disappointed seeing some sisters working in the kitchen. One of my friends remarked, saying, 
all those who are weak in studies have to serve in the kitchen. This put me off because I was an every student. So I decided to drop this idea to become a religious. When God decides who can change his plan, everything takes place in his time. After my 12th, I started working at different places. Finally, I worked in my parish as a church clerk during the time when Father Galbert Pereira was our parish priest in 2001. During the, my tenure in the parish, I was also a member of the PPC, catechist, president of Legion of Mary, SSC leader, and a charismatic, etc. All these experiences and the word from the Bible, I am the truth, the way, and the life. John chapter 14, verse 6, motivated me to follow Jesus. I was also inspired by our parish priest. While I mentioned about my desire to join for religious life to our parish priest and informed him about my decision to become a religious. But he could not believe me since I was very sociable and actively participated in all the occasions, especially going for weddings and dances. This nature of mine invited 24 proposals and then I too felt I need to say yes and even started getting my trousseau ready. I said yes to one proposal, but he had put down some conditions that I would not be allowed to visit my family. Secondly, no permission will be granted to participate in church activities. Thank God. I got to know this before my marriage and I canceled it. God's ways are different. Then I continued to work in our parish. Our Lord shaped me through my ups and downs and paved a way for me to join the FSMA congregation. Through Father Galbert, sisters Annie and Elsa came to visit me and I mentioned to them everything about myself. They were surprised because they did not find the need to ask anyone about me. God's plans are wonderful. So I joined the FSMA congregation, whose charism is Eucharistic Adoration. We are medians and missionaries. I am happy to be a follower of Christ as a religious and made my first profession in 2006 and final profession in 2014. Now I have happily completed 15 years in this FSMA family. Father Galbert blessed me, saying, you are born for higher things. During this 15 years, I got the opportunity to work with the street children in Mumbai. This have given me good experience to trust in the providence of God. It has also strengthened my vocation to be a good missionary. I also got the opportunity to work in the foreign mission in Switzerland. And now I continue my mission in the education field at Chishini Convent School. I am a late vocation, joined at the age of 27 and the first religious in my family. Life is sweet when I trust all in the providence of God. He's always by my side to accomplish his mission wherever I am placed. Providence of God makes great things happen. Thank you.